Voltages are measured for two half reactions happening at the same time. So what if we want to know the voltage for just half of the reaction, either the oxidation or the reduction? So in lab B4, called reduction potentials or voltaic cell, in which we will measure potentials for the cell, we're going to determine reduction potentials for several half reactions. So step one in this lab, we need to prepare the filter paper wheel. So we'll fold the paper in half, then fold it into thirds, then cut the two edges off of this pizza wedge. In this lab B4, we'll set up voltaic cells with six different metals to establish a reduction potential for each of the reduction half reactions. We'll use the six metals which eat with each of their corresponding nitrate solutions. Then we'll use a salt bridge and connect all of the solutions with the salt bridge substance each of the metals will have their own respective solution around it. So metal 2 will have this, metal 3 will get this solution. So now we'll take a quick look at folding the paper into halves, then a little bit into thirds, and then cutting off of the wide end of the pizza wedge. Lo and behold, opening it up, we end up with a pinwheel with six spokes. Into the top of the petri dish and place the metals one at a time. Each metal, metal one, metal two, here's metal three, all the way around on the outside of each spoke. Metal four, metal five, and then metal six. Next, each solution will be placed a drop at each, the end of each spoke, moistening the paper so that the metal is essentially in or submerged, of course it's not really submerged, in its own particular nitrate solution. Notice that one drop is used, it will bleed towards the center. We don't want it to go all the way towards the center. And then the salt bridge, sodium nitrate, will be filled in to connect all of the six half cells. The voltmeter is turned on to two volts. So you can see the combination of metal one and two gave us a positive value. We switch it, so the value will be negative. Then record each combination, metal one and metal three, metal 1 and metal 4, metal 1 and metal 5. You can certainly rewind to check each of these values to two decimal places recording the largest value. This is metal 2 with metal 3. Again, this time we want to record the positive value, paying attention to which metal is touching the black lead. Metal 2 to metal 4, now metal 2 to metal 5, and now metal 2 to metal 6. 3 to 4, 3 to 5, and 3 to 6. Again, paying attention to which metal is touching the black lead. Metal 4 to metal 5 and metal 4 to metal 6. Uh-oh, too high, so the voltage will be changed so that a reading of 2.15 can be recorded. Back to smaller increments and now metal 5 with metal 6.